I now understand why they call me the celebration pastor. <laughs> I now understand why they call me the celebrator. I love to celebrate you. God celebrates us every day. Do you know that there is always a feast taking place in heaven? And yet on earth, we want to be dumb. We don't want to celebrate life. Do you need something special to happen before you can explore and celebrate life? No. Me, I am enough to be celebrated. You, you are so valued that my job is to celebrate you. <laughs> Welcome to our daily prayers. This is serious. Welcome to our daily prayers. This is Reverend Idikai Mary, your bishop, your prophet, and your pastor. They call me the new prince of preachers. They call me the global bishop. Hallelujah. And that's where I am. The topic that we are dealing with today says the now and the future is within your reach. And remember, we are still dealing with John chapter 1 verse 1a when the Spirit of God released me to go to the next phrase, then I will go there. Who knows how many episodes are going to come out of it? I have no idea. You cannot exhaust God. Neither are you capable of exhausting His Word. The one word can become a library. One, one phrase can fill a city. John 1 verse 1, he says, In the beginning was the Word. Your dedication to God is determined by how many times you read a word of God. One single word, a phrase, a sentence, that's a verse or a passage or an entire chapter. And you come back to it, you discover something new. Where people found sand, you go there and you discover gold. And then you go back there, you discover diamond. And you go back there, you start to see rubies that are million dollar rubies. That's true. So do not just read a passage and just run off. And say you understand it. There is more when you begin to meditate. When you begin to look at it more and more. That's what the Holy Spirit does with me. He said to me, don't rush over the scriptures. I can read many scriptures in a day just to keep acquainting myself with stuff, my spirit, feeding my spirit with it. But the particular thing that is going to feed my spirit is going to be just a word or just a phrase or just a, a verse and it will speak many things to me. Scripture talks. Scripture has mouth, eyes and ears. They speak to me. Words of scriptures talk to me. They tell me what to do with them. They tell me how to teach them or preach them or use them to pray or to heal or to bring about miracles. The word of God is alive. Okay? The psalm for today is psalm number 11. Please read psalm number 11 gently, carefully and pray with it. The topic for today is the now and the future is within your reach. Many of you do not know that now is important. The present is already here. Jesus said the kingdom of God is already here. 
when Jesus arrived, the kingdom came. It came. Your future has started. It's within your reach. Your future is within your reach today. One thing you do well today will determine your future. Like I'm doing this video, which is an offering that I offer to God. I'm not paid for it, but it is an offering. I'm willingly, all my videos are offering that I'm willing to offer to God to work with, to solve human problems and reward me mightily with peace, with contentment and all other things. Because my need is bigger than what somebody can do for me. It's only God that can do it for me. And of course, he will use humans and he will use angelic beings to do it for me. True. My needs are so massive, it's unreal. If I begin to tell you what I want to do in life, you will say, this guy, you must be crazy. But how were the Asian kings and queens of Europe able to build empires? I'm looking for a nation of my own. God said, I will make you a great nation. That's what he told me. And that's the same thing he want to do through you. He want you to be more than a celebrity, more than a star. Because you came from uh, above the stars anyway. The now and the future is within your reach. You do not need to wait until you die before you begin to migrate into your territory of conviction, into your territory of achievement, into your place of authority and greatness. Jesus wants you to do one thing and to do it well each day. If you can concentrate on the thing that you are naturally gifted to do in life and you can do them well, well each day, you've entered into a life of celebrity and a star. That's true. This is not something that God will come to do for you. It is something that you are going to do for yourself. Because you already have divine backing and because you have divine backing that's why you can venture into adventure that's a good one let me write it down let me write it down because let me write it down that's a key I don't care let me write it down because this pen, you have to, you are a rich man's pen, so you have to write rich. <laughs> because you have divine backing. Therefore, you can you can do adventure. I'll put it well later. Then you can venture. Yes, you can venture into adventure. That's true. You can now venture into. You can now venture into adventures. Because you have divine advantage. Divine backing, divine advantage makes you to venture into adventure. And you will succeed. That is true. There is no way that you can have divine backing without entering into ventures that will advance your life and advance the lives of other people. Because your today is already assured. Your tomorrow is already assured. Therefore, you can move mountains 
my brother, my sister, you can move mountain. You can pray. You can break down government on your knees. You can remove people from positions of authority. Go and read my mandate. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. That's what I'm called to enforce upon the earth. So if, if there is a ruler or a leader you want who is evil, oppressing his people, you want God to remove them, call me. I'll pray and God will get rid of them. The only reason why bad rulers, bad politicians, evil businesses exist is because you've decided not to do something about it. Call me and I'll get rid of them. They will go bankrupt in a minute. They will go bankrupt. Things will begin to happen. When God told me last year that if China doesn't begin to carry its people, that it's going to have trouble, I wrote it down. And sometimes this year, professors in China said the same thing. I began to take myself very serious. I like China. But in its advancement, it must carry all of its people along. That's the same thing in America. America must carry and listen to the voice of the majority of its people. Let me leave politics. Let me leave politics alone. If I start that area, it will never end. The story will never end. The story will never end. And I'll be here forever. Let me begin to pray with you. Say this with me. Thank you, Father, for my now. Thank you, Jesus, for my tomorrow. Thank you for already giving me assurance of my today, of my tomorrow, of my future. Amen. I am so happy, O oh God, that I have divine backing. Therefore, I can venture into adventures because I have divine advantage. Divine advantage has made me rich. Amen. Amen. Dear Father, move mightily for your people. Give your people divine backing. Give them divine advantage as you've already done in Christ. And let them venture into adventures that will profit them and provide great service to humanity. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you pray that prayer with me, and if you join me in this daily prayer time, and you need me to counsel you or to pray with you, and to remove problems in your life, call, as of now, 425-409-0473. Yes, do that quickly. Also, release a seed of financial support into my life. If this ministry has become a covering for you, a church for you, which we've been invited to start churches in different places, which we are about to begin, that's why I'm asking you to at least try and support what I'm doing. Support this ministry for at least a year. Put some money aside on our daily, weekly, on a monthly basis to support the project and global evangelization that I've been asked to do. True. The world is looking at me and looking at you. If you support me, the good news of good things will go all over the earth. And our generation will never remain the same. Show me how many pastors there will somebody write to them. Somebody call them and say they have a need. I will put down what I'm doing, the book I'm writing or whatever, and I'll call them back anywhere in the world and pray with them. Show me. But that is what God has asked me to do. And I should never stop doing it. I need you to, to support me mightily so that I keep being there for you. If you like good things, send your tithes and offerings. The Dikai Mary's ministry, P.O. Box. My contact information is down, down there on YouTube on this video. 
PO Box 12474, which is at Kansas, 67212 as of now. Because we are about to move the ministry to a new place. And I want you, I want you to support me at least for a year or two. I will greatly appreciate it. You can call me 425 409 0473. And you can email me at itikaimeri2000, that's 2000, at gmail.com. Go to Itikai Mary's Ministries and donate online. Go to my website and donate online. It's a blog website. Go there. It's up now. And donate online. Securely. God bless you. I will come back to you soon. And we will continue this journey. God has put me in your life. And I'm not backing out. I want to see God bless you so much. And then we can take that blessing. To bless other people. Remember, you are now in your future. This way then you are rich. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.